In this video, we'll show you how to locate and modify the default DITA templates that install with FrameMaker 11. First, we'll look at a blank DITA task using the default FrameMaker 11 template. This is a good basic template, but we'd like to add some corporate branding and customization to the text frames. The global struct apps file defines the location of the various DITA template files. You'll find Edit Global Application Definitions under the Structure Tools menu. In the Structure view of the Struct Apps file, expand the DITA 1.2 task element. By highlighting the template element, we see the path that we need. By default, the Structure location is the structured directory inside the directory where FrameMaker is installed. Next, we'll open the file referenced here. Remember, it's a good idea to make backups before modifying default files. We've already modified the task template, so to speed things along, we'll import a file containing the master page changes that we want. In this template file, we've modified the corporate brand, along with the header text frame and rule, and the start of the body page text frame. We'll incorporate these changes by using the File Import Formats menu command. Identify the document containing the proper definitions. Select the formats you wish to import. And click the Import button. Make sure to save the changes to your template file. If you have trouble saving your changes to the template file, Save the file to a writable directory and copy it in manually using Windows. Your system administrator may also be able to help with this. Let's take a look at the file we created using the old template. Now create a new task as before using the DITA menu. Perfect! As expected, the new topic reflects the changes you made to your template file. Other easy changes you can make to the template file include available zooms, border, ruler, element boundary, and text symbol visibility.